Class President. Okay, class, that's all for today. Before you all go, there's something this school has been lacking. Eldorado stew, right? I love Eldorado stew too, but no. There's something we all need to do. The time has come. We must choose Wondermont's first class president. What's a class president? They help out around school. They go to the magic shops with us. That doesn't sound like a heroic job. Who wants to go shopping? Going shopping, huh? To help carry our purchases back home, yes. And the class president will represent the class at the ceremonial gala of wizardry schools. Who wants, Who wants that? that? A gala sounds really nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our first class president will have their portrait hung in the school corridor. Beautifully framed, of course. Uh, hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? That I should be class president. Oh, yeah, why? First off, because I'll look so good in the super beautiful new dress I made. And second, because I picked out the most perfect gems for my tiara, so my portrait would be best, since it will look nice in the corridor. I don't think we should choose based on the portrait. That shouldn't decide who's president. But just imagine it. The ceremonial gala's red carpet. My new outfit would look amazing. As soon as they see it, it'll take their breath away. And then one by one, they'll all be overwhelmed with delight. That tiara's gonna fall off with your nose so high in the air. I am going to win. And shopping with the teachers will be my job. The immortal and the professor. What time do they usually do their shopping? During our classes, right? Uh-huh. Perfect. That means I can cook class and have a good excuse for it. <laughs> okay, girls. Who are you voting for? The fashionable one? Or the lazy one? Vosco, Levon, who are you voting for? The one who's better at soccer, right? I'll vote for whoever can cook me Eldorado stew for dinner. Yeah, the flavor is famous even in the Kingdom of Seven Peaks. Though chopping an exploding pepper needs real master chef skills. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone here would dare to cook it. Hmm. Are you sure this is worth it, Rooney? I want to be class president, so it's worth it. Keep right on wanting, because <gasps> I'm going to win. <laughs> the magical Eldorado exploding <gasps> pepper. This is what gives Eldorado stew its one-of-a-kind flavor. It's all for me. No, it isn't. It's mine. Oh, uh, watch out! Uh, the exploding pepper requires careful and precise handling. Ah! Uh, uh, ooh, it's got an explosive flavor too. Girls, did you do this? We need to clean it up as soon as possible. Not we, her. She did it. Make her clean it all up. Oh, yeah? You sorted it? Blech. Oh. Don't worry, I'll help you. I don't understand how to solve this alchemy problem. I'll give you a hand as your future class president. Not that I understand this either. If you don't understand it, I'll help her out. And then Doma will vote for me, right? That's not true. Oh. Give me that inkwell. Ah! Wow, thank you, Helen. My dress! Rooney, look what you have done! Me? Look at this mess. I have to redo everything because of you. Maybe I won't have homework as president. I'll bring those in for you, Professor. No, I should get that for you. It's okay, girls. There's plenty of boxes. Just take care with them. That's all I ask. That bottle, for example, holds mockingbird mist. If you breathe that stuff in, it makes your voice change. Ah! Ah! Well, the mockingbird mist is gone. I just asked you to be careful. It's Lisa's fault. How was I supposed to be careful when she was getting under my feet like that? I'm as careful as they come. It's your fault for bumping into me. Now. <gasps> oh. Thank you, dear Helen. When I'm class president, we'll be allowed to stay up all night if we want. Just wait and see. And when I'm class president, we'll have more holidays than anyone in the world. Oh. Why argue about it? If you want to know who will be class president, you just have to look into the magic well that tells the future. Hmm. Aha! 
You're here too! Ah! Ah! Turn into a frog, then I can pull you out! Ah, thank you so much. You've been so helpful today. I'm here to announce the results of the election. By unanimous decision, we have chosen a class president. It's you, Helen. Really? Of course. While Rudy and Lisa were bickering, you were actually helping out. Even Lisa and I voted for you, and we made up too. Okay, I'll try to be a great president. In honor of this happy event, may I offer a celebratory dinner? Ah, I realize I completely forgot to tell you. My own Eldorado stew will be served tonight. Yay! A big adventure. I proudly present the newest additions to our museum. Unique finds from our hierological expedition. Bracelet of Thumbelina. Wow, she must have been tiny. The armor of Firewing the 39th. Now he was a big hero. Look at the size of that. Hm. Size isn't everything. Maybe his brain was as small as Thumbelina's bracelet. Now that's more like it. The shield of Brunhilde the Clever. Legend has it that Brunhilde was both smart and tough. It's a little odd. Nothing here actually specifies her height. <sighs> I couldn't lift that shield if I wanted to, much less do anything heroic with it. I know, right? I can't lift my youngest brother's shield. How will we be heroes without shields? We have some growing to do. I might have an idea. Let's meet here when class is over, and I promise you will be able to lift any shield. Hmm, they don't know a thing about magic. Fawning over that metal junk and not even a glance at the bracelet. That thing can shrink anything down, as small as you want. Is that a speck of dust there? No, it's the immortal. I want that. So small, but so special. And they're kidding if they're unguarded. And that concludes today's little museum artifact tour. It's lunchtime. <gasps> hmm, clever of him. Hmm. What we need now is we need someone who is small, someone like ah, oh, a raven. <laughs> and a frog, too. And a spider. There. You're going to be my very own soldiers, my evil heroes. <laughs> I'm your commander-in-chief now. You'll obey my orders. I could barely sit still in class. Okay, we're ready. Show us what you've got. Look, gingerbread men taught me how to make enlarging and shrinking magic cookies. You can grow as big as you want with these and pick up whatever shields you like. A bite of this one and you grow. Eat this one and you shrink. That is, if I didn't mess up the recipe. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it's in the name of science. <gasps> Put that bracelet back immediately! Dorma, quick! The shrinking cookie! Hey, stop! That's my old hairpin! And the professor's favorite spoon! This is a sticky situation! Well, it's not Brunhilde's shield, but it suits me fine! Okay, Thief, this is your final warning. You know you can't hide from me in the library. I know every page in here. Oh, gotcha! Hoist the sails! Full speed ahead, set a course for the end of the chapter! I'm shipwrecked. Hey, stop! Got you at last! Give us the bracelet! Oh. Ah, ah. They've got a whole forest gang! But why the bracelet? Because animals don't wear jewelry! Baba Yaga! That glow, didn't you see it? She's bewitched them to get to that bracelet! Quick, put me up on the window and call Chirpy! Chirpy! Hello, Chirpy! We'll go with you. This is no job for giants. Stay here and warn the others. Baba Yaga is up to something. All around is wonderful stories. Some are strange, but none of them boring, yeah. 
Thumbelina's bracelet is now Baba Yaga's ring. <laughs> what should I shrink now? Oh, I know. Everything. <laughs> Great work. I'm promoting you all to general. Meet tonight at Wonderbond School. Then we'll decide what to do with our miniature immortal. <laughs> Still. No. First reverse. <laughs> oh, come on, you little. Big things come in small packages. Oh, I won't say goodbye. I left a pot on the stove. You all just got lucky. Daria, for someone so small, you've shown enormous courage. So, perhaps Wondermont has found its own Bruhilda or its own Thumbelina. Because, you see, heroes don't have to be big. That's why Thumbelina's tiny bracelet is every bit as valuable as that giant shield. Oh, that little menace. I had all these good ideas and she ruined them. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have my soldiers. Ah. Oh. Oh. Unpredictable berries. These carrots are gigantic. 33 times bigger than normal. With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the Magic Fair. Best farm product of the year. I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. <gasps> uh -huh. uh. Hmm, they're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year. And there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners, and the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots. We don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Daria, no! Only the botany professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable. And they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shovel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. Heroic leap out of... To the yard! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so quickly? Oh, oh well, we can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's split up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps, stewed nettle salad, the best wooden recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictable berry. If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictable berry will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, <laughs> Helen. Uh. Big warp. I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictaberry! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Mm. Ah. 
Ha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles! Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is! Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in... <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it. And then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictaberries are the same. Look at that! It's so much taller than I expected! It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry sprout! Oh, it's over. The sprout is gone for good. <gasps> oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open. <gasps> Stop it! I'll try to steer it! The amazing ball act! Watch out for that rock! Look out! Thistle! I declare us professors of botany! <sighs> Shoot! That was the last berry! There goes our chance of winning! And the sun's going down too! It's nearly dark! Which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow! Mm. Even the sourest berries can make... I know what to do! We're gonna win this competition! Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Let us sell it for you. Each bite is a joy. Ahem. The jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm project will be awarded to the Unpredictaberry uh, Jam from Wonderbomb School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it. Hmm. Well, then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> the Gauntlet of Might. Okay, next, the Invisible Princess. Wears the Cloak of Invisibility and has 104 feet. Correct. What about the Solar Knight? His has shining armor. 232... Uh, uh, no, no, 233 feats. That's right. These heroes perform so many amazing feats. They had it easy, though. If I had shining armor, I could perform new heroic feats every day. We should wait to study it, Professor. The Gauntlet of Might is a powerful yet extremely moody artifact. Good idea. Let's let it calm down first. <laughs> uh -huh. Should we put it somewhere safer while it calms down? No, no. The Enchanted Cube is the only way to take its power away. Oh, speaking of which, we've spent a lot of power ourselves. I suggest we recharge after the long journey by taking a short nap. Hmm. The Gauntlet of Might! That sounds awfully heroic. Did you belong to a famous hero? And now you want to make me a hero? Hmm. I guess if you're going to insist... Whoa! Step aside, Solar Knight. I'm taking the lead in the hero contest.
I've got the gauntlet of my eyes Things that always seemed out of sight Suddenly you're all brought to light No more thinking small Fighting evil all day and night Magic that would give them a fright Never gonna lose in a fight I can do it all There's only one in the whole world. Can I try it on? Just for a little bit. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> it's a little stubborn sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop messing around. If you don't want to share, just say so. <gasps> Ow! My nose! <laughs> I didn't know Levon was so funny. <laughs> I don't think he's joking. In our old school, the hallways were always so busy. But it's so calm and quiet here. Whoa, whoa, somebody help me! Levon, what are you doing? It's the gauntlet! <laughs> this way! <laughs> Please, stop, gauntlet! <sighs> It's too powerful. We couldn't stop it with all five of us together. The Gauntlet of Might is extremely dangerous. It belonged to an ancient and powerful villain called the Treacherous Cavalier. How do we take it off? We can't do that, but we can transfer it to another hand using a magic spell. Where are we supposed to get another hand? I know. The Black Glove. Oh, Black Glove, we need your help. <laughs> Levan, repeat after me. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hand. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hat. It really worked. I spoke too soon. Oh no, it got away. I can't open it. And you'll have to stop it on your own. How can I do that when I can't even rescue my own friends? I'm no hero. Levon, you saved me without gauntlets before. Remember when our school ran away and you pulled me out before I got hurt? You got me, Levon! Levon. You Levon. can do it, Levon! Levon. 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 Defend yourself, Godless! <laughs> Looks like you might need a hand getting back to the cube, huh? Oh my, I must still be dreaming. Wait a second! Mr. Immortal! I won't let you get away! Levon, over here! I hope that you understand now, Levon. It is your actions that make you a hero, not magical objects. Your actions today were incredibly brave and heroic. A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsea Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No, not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Ruini, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go! <laughs> huh? The weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. 
They're not uh, meow. The best of us. Don't come back. Catch it. Catch it. There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsy Day. Wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a, a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! There it is. We'll catch you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Oh, it really it. worked. You wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Come on, grab it! It's getting away! Wow! Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it! It's getting away! You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney! Invisible lock, shut tight! How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once. Uh, professor, you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still. Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop. Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still. <gasps> oh, wow. Now it's your turn. Ready, go. Stop still. Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still. Oh, I froze the wrong thing. Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> oh, my, the tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action. Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman. Oh! Oh! Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney. That was great. I'm getting a package soon too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the goal. But I won't get it for another week. And I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. 
You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. Reflections <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right! Stop ordering us around! You're bossy! Well, clearly without me you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine then. Maybe I would be better off too. <gasps> with other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve, and yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> and soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough! I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls! I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. <gasps> Let's have some fun! <laughs> oh no, how clumsy! Don't worry, I'll get it! You're a mess! Look! Thank you so much! Look at this place! It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you alright? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh wow! You should wear it. Thank you! Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. Girls! What's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. <gasps> well then, let's replace Helen. <gasps> hmm. Hooray! It's hide and seek! My favorite! First to find Helen wins! <sighs> to get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. <sighs> oh, Helen! Yoo-hoo! Where are you? We just want to play. Huh? Hmm. I know you're in there. <laughs> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? Huh. Thank you for getting me out of there. 
It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> I missed you! Thank you for saving me! We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away! Not yet! Toma, hold up the mirror! But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this. We wanted a different Daria. And it was our fault. What do we do now? Hey you, Mira! Give Daria back! We only want our Daria! Give her back! Daria! Daria! You're back. back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want <laughs> you. Flotation fever. It seems poor Dorma has caught a cold. See here? She's running a high fever. Will she be okay? She will be fine, Helen. It's only a fever. All she needs is some rest. However, it may affect Dorma's magical power. There is a possibility that her dreams could become real. Then let's monitor her. We'll take turns. And if something happens, we'll wake her. That way the dream will stop. All right, then. I'll go first. Thank you, Helen. Well then, let us go. Very good. Now, should you see anything strange, please gently wake Dorma. Rooney, it's your turn. Oh, it's such a nice day today. I wish it was raining. Then I wouldn't mind being stuck indoors so much. Huh, fine then. Oh dear. Don't worry, Doma. I'll go and get my ball fast as I can. And be right back, promise. <laughs> It's so hot here. Strange. Oh, oh no, Teddy! You poor thing, you must be so hot. Hold on, I'll help you get out of there. Oh. Oh. oh, thank goodness. I never knew that I could do such a thing, Teddy. The girls will certainly be surprised when I show them. Let's clear the floor before it burns. wanted to be here, but she stayed with Dorma instead. She's such a good friend. She's so loyal and trustworthy. What is she dreaming about? Dorma! Dorma, come back! <gasps> oh, no! Dorma. I'm 
minute, I got my ball, and then... You should have stayed with her. I know, and I'm sorry. Don't apologize to us, apologize to Dorma. Shouldn't we wake her up? No, we can't wake her up yet. If her dream ends now, then everything will fall, including Dorma. We need to get her somewhere safe first, and then we can wake her. I have an idea. Good thinking, Helen. Be careful. Don't accidentally wake her. Helen, do you think you can help me up there? Maybe if I steer the bed, we can get it through the window. You've got it. Brilliant. Be careful. Is she okay? Quiet. <gasps> all of our stuff outside. <gasps> did I really do that? You certainly did. And now Rooney is going to fix it by going outside and cleaning everything up. Oh, no! Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me out of here? There! This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good! Cut! Rewind! Show it to me! Playback! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? This looks better than I'd hoped! You can turn it off now! All right! Let's see what the school schedule looks like! Ah! Good! The Magical Task Generator! Tuesday at 12.45 what is today? Uh... It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. He'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about? It's the concentration and release of miraculous energy! Yes! Uh. <laughs> All right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Right. Girls, no need to argue. Princesses. This is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better, knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the Magical Task Generator. And the assignment will go to Rooney oh. and Dari. <laughs> it's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm. Just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> Now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> the 
bottle. Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? <sighs> what a gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh. Want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Bind us and wind us! <gasps> well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars! Just you wait, brats! Hey, Falcon, Falcon, it's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look how daring you've become. Doria, chop the spell, quick. <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no, it shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Yeah. I'm in charge now. Huh. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! And girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready. I'm going to give them a fright. Hey, stop crying! Beg me to set you free at once! <gasps> what? I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Uh... Ah! Bind us on this! <laughs> bind us on bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! <laughs> bind us on wind us! <laughs> hey, hot! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions, and your power! <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They could be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding the teachers. Ah, your pumpkin is growing wonderfully. We'll try turning it into a carriage later, like Cinderella. <laughs> Look what I grew. No one will be able to sleep well on this pea pod. No, no, you must make the peas ordinary. Fairy tale standards. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> what have we here? Uh, well, these plants are invisible ape plants. Invisible? Hmm, I figured as much. A Forest Beauty Cosmetics magazine. You're too young to concern yourself with such things. Oh, but my grandmother has a birthday coming up, and she loves this sort of thing. Oh, while kindness is admirable, you're in class right now. Please try to focus on your studies. <gasps> They really grew. Mm -hmm. They're ripe too. Well done, Daria. Professor Grunwald will be thrilled. He thought this variety of apple was lost forever. Who's that? Professor Grunwald? A professor of magical botany. I'm so glad Owl kept those old seeds. Girls, Daria managed to grow rejuvenating apples. Oh, aren't mine as good? Why, Dorma, whatever do you mean? Your apples are wonderful as well. They're just like your fairy tale. Try my apples. Mmm. These apples taste like no other. They're very special. Perfect for apple pie. What do you think? A rejuvenating apple lotion. Grandmother would be thrilled. I'll only pick a few. There you are. <gasps> 
Where were you? I, uh, uh... Never mind. Let's go. I've got the sugar right here. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a real feast. The girls have done a wonderful job. May I please have this piece? Mmm, mm, this is magnificent. These apples are... They're from the magic apple tree. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 <gasps> hey! Give me some more. That pie was the bomb. What's happened to them? I did this. It's all my fault. My rejuvenating apples got into the pie. Oh, no. And I was so excited to find them. We didn't have enough. I don't understand. Why did you pick them? It wasn't many. I only picked a few. Hey, let's play tag. There's a teacher's meeting. And it's starting now. Ah! What kind of meeting? A fairy tale optic session. Professor Grunwald is waiting. <gasps> What should we do? It'll be fine. Take the kids to the office. Stall the meeting for half an hour. And I'll look for a way to reverse the spell. Wondermont, please come in. Wondermont, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, if things go wrong, I can create some static. Deal. Here we go. Did you request a video call? Did something happen? Mr. Immortal, I'm listening. Oh, you need something or what? Tell them about our garden, how it's totally off the hook. Make it sound really cool. Right, got it. Okay. Our garden is slaying it. One uh -huh. school. Our botany skills totally rule. The plant things are growing. Magical knowing. Rock is a very uh -huh. tough cat. Don't stop. Our garden is hot. Now our students will report on their successful botany projects. Uh, oh, uh, we've achieved tremendous success with... Uh, growing these princess peas here. And a pumpkin carrot. And rejuvenating apples. Rejuvenating apples? But that variety died off ages ago. The scientific community will not tolerate fraud. Claims that cannot be backed up with proof will result in the school being disqualified and its license revoked. I've got your proof. Our teachers tested out the apples for, uh, scientific reasons. Experimenting on themselves? Such admirable dedication. And I assume the antidote was prepared in advance? But of course. Uh, uh, hello, hello. We can't hear you. Uh, it's a bad connection. Uh, what? Oh, dear. Phew, close one. Well, you done? Almost. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ta-da! Who shall go first? Me! Let me try. It could make you older. But still, we mustn't experiment on the children. Didn't work. The potion needs to cool off. Oh, you're back now. <laughs> well, due to my immortality, these things don't actually work on me. In this case, I wanted to see how you girls would get yourselves out of such a, uh, uh, such a curious predicament. And you did well. Where's my mummy? One moment. Let's get back to rescuing the teachers. Helen the Fair, if you would, please. Oh, thank you. I was quite thirsty. Mr. Immortal, can we please leave the professor this way? Look, he's so cute and playful. <laughs> <laughs> and review paragraphs 9 through 49. Wrong one. Ah, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you should delete... My childhood has come to an end. <gasps> the antidote worked. <gasps> oh, no, Lisa. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry. It's only a mask. You see? <laughs> Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't 
you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Please, Professor. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Oh, how wonderful. May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques do you Girls, suggest please for stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast. And then to our esteemed owl for Magic Home Economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in the pseudo fairy tale style at the last hmm. moment. Hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. That's strange. Why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you! <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby oh. they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! Oh. Professor! Oh. Where is the immortal? Oh. Good question! Where is he? Why isn't he here? What are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me! Now, if you don't mind... Let go of me! I got it! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! <gasps> I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us! A sleeping spell! To take over! But Dorma saved the day! Well done, Dorma. When needed, 
You are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! <laughs> 